What's the word, guys? What's the word? It's day 51 out of 84. I did my first session this morning. Today was just supposed to be a leg day, but since I have two, just two leg exercises programmed on leg day, and in total, it's probably like three sets of legs. So two sets for quads and one set for hamstrings, which is only like 25 minutes spent in the gym. So I got a bit of energy to work on my back um, this afternoon. So first session was done in the morning. I posted that on my YouTube short just because it's not a long enough video for me to post as a, as a video video. Oh man, I wish I could go downstairs and help that lady, but um, she's already too far. But anyways though, I'm doing uh, a pullover today. We're gonna start off with some pullovers. Man, y'all stay tuned, y'all stay tuned, y'all stay tuned. Um, what do I wanna talk about today? I don't got really much to talk about. Life been good. Um, I've been meditating when I feel a bit stressed. Um, I've been praying a lot more. Guys, prayer is key. If you if you grew up in a Christian church or if you grew up in church in general, um, go back to your roots, man, and start praying and start reading the Bible. I know it's not it's not gonna be like fairy tale, like things aren't aren't gonna like magically disappear from your life, but just having somebody to rely on and somebody to talk to, I feel like that's what God's there for. When you sit down, you meditate, you get on your knees and you start praying and you start talking to the Lord. Um it's just a great feeling. I can't, it's undescribable, it's an undescribable feeling. And I remember in high school, one of my guidance counselor, I was like, I was heavy into church at the time. And one of my, and I, and I was like, oh, thank God I passed that um, English test because the English test was kind of hard for me to pass, right? But I was able to pass it and graduate high school, but anyways, I was like, thank God. She was like, God didn't do it for you. You did it yourself. And she had a point, but I still, I still, I still give my thanks to the Lord because if it wasn't for him, first of all, I wouldn't be breathing. I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be able to walk. I wouldn't be able to make good decisions, right? I feel like sometimes God put me in the right positions for me to grow and yeah, guys, I'll elaborate on that more when I have my thoughts together. But walk into the gym with me. We're gonna do back. We're gonna do forearms, and I think we're gonna do some biceps and triceps. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Just so stay tuned for the full video. Peace. Oh, fuck, bro. I got one more set of these. I 
found that if I press my elbows on the pad on the way down, if I press them on the way down, I can feel it more in my lats. Um, yeah, that's, that's about it with this exercise. I got three um, back exercises lined up, so after this, I'm going to go to dumbbell rows. Guys, this is kind of weird, bro. Like, my feet is not even touching the floor. I should just angling around pause. Guys, one thing I want to really say is y'all too old to be posting on IG. I'm better off alone. Like, your, your frontal lobe is pretty developed now. Like, you know you need people. Stop trying to look for attention. Come on. Dumbbell rolls. I went up five pounds. I'm ego lifting today. Let's go. I told her, damn it, you know that's right. <laughs> that's why I hate doing single arm shit. I never know how much I got. On the first arm. I suck at counting. I suck at math. Shit. Like almost set. You got a full chest there? Your triceps with it. Triceps. Yeah, it catch up to you fast, bro. You said, "Nah, I'm not gonna get that."
Thank <laughs> you. 